Experiential learning in VFL classroom, theory and practice. Keeping students motivated is a challenging task. Certain classroom practices can promote student engagement. Some of those practices include engaging students in challenging activities, providing real-life authentic tasks and opportunities for reflective thinking, encouraging cooperative learning. Content-based instruction incorporates these principles. Content-based instruction has many characteristics that make it effective in language instruction. One of its most important benefits is the fact that it can foster the natural teaching of the language skills. Content-based DFL classes usually stimulate students' interest, engagement, and motivation. Project-based instruction has often been discussed within the theoretical framework of experiential learning. It is a natural extension of content-based instruction and a basic approach of communicative language teaching. Project-based learning involves students dealing with real-life problems, engaging in activities in authentic contexts. Benefits of incorporating project work in foreign language instruction include the following. First of all, the fact that students experienced increased motivation, autonomy, engagement, and a more positive attitude toward English. It promotes student-centered learning. The philosophy behind project-based learning can be found in the concept of experiential learning, which is based on the close relationship between experience and learning. Experiential learning is the process of learning by doing, which contrasts with a transmission approach to education in which the learner acquires knowledge passively from the teacher. Concerning the structure of the project we are presenting here, the rationale is the following. Participation in a project would capitalize on the students' needs and interests and would provide them with the necessary motivation. Participation in the project would stimulate higher level thinking skills and give students responsibility for their own learning. The project was implemented with a group of students attending a course on English for specific purposes at the Department of Fine Arts and Art Sciences, School of Fine Arts, University of Ioannina. The students were asked to create an artwork, describe and critically present it. Students could create anything from painting, drawing, printmaking, sculpture, photography and video to design and crafts using any medium they wished. A text had to accompany the artwork. This text should include information about the following aspects. Description of the work of art, inspiration sources and any other information students believe the viewer should be provided with. Concerning the principal goal of the project, it was to provide students with the opportunity to express their creativity and describe their artistic creations through writing a text and creating an artwork. The specific aims of the project were the following. The development of creativity, creativity and critical thinking skills. The natural integration of the language skills with a main focus on communication and not on form to improve students' communicative competence and to, increase, and to increase their autonomy as learners, to sensitize students about the relationship between the viewer and works of art, to acquaint them with observation and academic research. Concerning the choice of the project, the choice of the project it was, was linked to the interests of the students. After a discussion with them, the English teacher proposed the topic of the project to the students, who agreed. The project was linked to real-world concerns, since art students often need to present their work and their artistic portfolio. The end products were a text and an artwork, as we have already discussed. In relation to the way that information is reported, this project constituted an intersection of a production project and a performance project. The project was a semi-structured project. It was defined and organized in part by the teacher and in part by the students themselves. The project was implemented making use of the eight-step sequence of activities for project work in an ESP classroom. This sequence was adapted, however, according to the needs of this particular project.
The steps included agreeing on the theme for the project, determining the final outcome, structuring the project, preparing students for the language demands of the project, creating the artwork, compiling the text, presenting the final outcome and evaluating the project. An initial evaluation based on the students and products and opinions about the whole project shows that they enjoyed participating in the project work. Students expressed the view that the project was closely related to their future professional and academic needs. It helped them improve the, la the language skills and that it enabled them to use English in a real-life context. As a conclusion, we could say that project work seems to be especially appropriate for ESP courses, given the fact that university students are mature and know exactly what they need English for. Thank you.